Ramble. Saturday, you wake up, obviously. You have the Drake, like, $100,000 bed mm -hmm. or whatever. Well, they, I had a custom one because Drake already had his. Drake already so had that one. I don't right. want his. What's the, his is, like, built out of um, piano. There's some. It's, like, the only bed in the world, and for some reason, it's, like, piano? a billion dollars. What word did you not complete that sentence with? What? What could have possibly made that make sense? Piano <laughs> hair? Piano strings? Because no. piano strings are just... Metal. Wires. Yeah, no, metal no, no. wires. He sleeps on wires. The out, in a piano. The outside of it. How Would? much is the bed, Rainy? Can we is look that, what, that up? Yeah. Is that what pianos are made out of? On the outside? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're made of wood. Did we ever tell our Grammy story? You went to the Grammys? You went to the Grammys? By well, the way, we went uh, to a Grammys party. <laughs> that was the party. the uh, party for everybody who wasn't invited to the actual cool party that night. So there were still some cool people there. <gasps> well, the big one... Sorry, I just found out what's, what Drake sleeps on. What does he sleep on? A 400K bed made of stingray skin and horse hair. That's, that's like fucked up. That's like people basically what I said. <laughs> Doesn't skin like, isn't it gross? Yeah. <laughs> Seems like it'd be a slimy bed, by the way. <laughs> stingray isn't it skin? Gross? Is it like that leather? That is crazy. <laughs> stingray I guess it's like oh. leather, fish leather. Leather bed? What is a stingray bed? <laughs> what is the stingray made of? <laughs> like, because <laughs> fish have scales. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's like a skin. ray. A skin. Uh -huh. what, is it I, a, we've all touched a stingray. Is yeah. a stingray a, a mammal? No. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> stingrays. What's a stingray? Do they lay eggs? That's the how you tell. I don't know. All I know about stingrays, they look like this. <laughs> Very nice for... They do. Their uh, eyes are sort of... Over here. Keith is kind of, his eyes are wide, his mouth is down. He's kind of doing like the Habsburg impression, like when... You know, yeah, yeah he looks nice. Yeah. The stingrays, you are so scared of them as a kid, and then you go to an aquarium, you realize they're the funniest little flat guys. They're you so get under good. them, you see their funny little face. Oh, you're like, they look like little ghosts. It. What a crazy place for a face, right? Yeah, I like, mean, it's on your weird, belly. They're so flat, <laughs> so flat. Yeah. Oh, like you ever seen a flounder? The fuck's going on oh, there? Oh my god, those sideways are, ass motherfucker. Fish, the, ass the, the creatures of the water don't follow any rules, do they? Yeah. Well, the you water know, is sort of as unexplored as us, space. Us out here, we're breathing air. Yeah. Scared of lightning. Mm -hmm. Them down there. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Okay? You're not? I fear nothing. You're not even the power of Zeus. Well, I, bet, I bet you a stingray's never even heard of lightning before. Yeah. Except for the ones in the aquariums. They know about it. They live. They're God fearing yeah. fish. It's interesting that we have an aquarium with the fish, but the fish don't have an aquarium with us. You know what I mean? We should change that. About. Rainy, that's the funniest thing ever. We do have <laughs> deep sea labs, right? Aren't there labs where people like go down? Mm. I'm just remembering Sea Lab 2021 from Adult Swim. I remember. There must be a real one. There's probably underwater. Well, yeah, like submarines. They yeah, go but down. Like a, rather than one that moves, one that just it stays. And the fish there. can kind of come into windows yeah, and say, yeah. hey. I do love that. I, there is uh, hotels you can stay at that are like, oh, the room mm. is an aquarium because you're under the sea. And some of, of them are like, you have to scuba dive to get into them. Like, that's oh, I don't want to do that. Safe at I'm not all. going scuba diving. <laughs> what do I? Am I fucking crazy? You I'm not certified. A too. tank. A, you have to get certified. It's like, don't worry. In 11 weeks, you're gonna have a great 30 minute session. I don't want to do that at all. Okay. Did you hear about Millie Bobby Brown's engagement? To Bon Jovi's son. She got him. Was what does that have to do with what is that? Scuba diving. Scuba okay. diving. <laughs> I would say, like, that, that intro was so confusing <laughs> uh, to no, me. Have she, you heard about Millie Bobby Brown's <laughs> engagement to Bon Jovi? Said they were underwater? Yeah, they were scuba diving, and he said, like, he showed it, and she couldn't say yes, because that's. Yeah. So my question is, how did he not drop the fucking ring? So he did. Uh, he dove oh. fast, caught it. Oh. It was okay, but. Also, when they went up. That's a Bon Jovi up. for you. <laughs> yeah, he's fast. He's fast. Look at his feet. When he went up to uh, the boat, then there all their family, and then her, her mom gave the real ring, which is her old wedding ring. Oh. But she wasn't going to trust Bon Jovi in the in the ocean with her yeah. wedding ring. You don't trust a Bon... If I've... If there's Jovi. one thing I've gone on record and saying, you mm -hmm. don't trust a Jovi in the ocean with a ring. You might be a Bon Jovi if... <laughs> if you propose underwater to Millie Bobby Brown, you might, you might be, be a Jovi. Jovi. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, yeah. so Jovi has scuba and Drake has a stingray bed. We love Dang. to see it. That is really nice. Speaking yeah, of that's what you did on Saturday. I'm curious, actually, yeah, when you were relaxing, Zach, because you say you have a short-term memory, uh -huh. are you sort of on the couch with an iPad and yeah. your Apple Vision Pro? Or <laughs> are you sort of like, where do you relax in your house that you feel like is nice to have? Well, I was thinking about... I, I actually talked to Maggie about this, and I really only... Literally last night. Really? That I, that I don't know how to. Mm -hmm. Relax? Yeah. I also am yeah. this way. So, so I have like, it, on a weekend, I need to be task oriented. Yeah. Either I am doing my leisure activity now, which is pickleball. It's the only thing I know how to do that is not work. Mm -hmm. Or I'm work. Like if I had free time yesterday, you worked. You're working. I was like, okay, I guess I'll do some work. So I started noodling around thinking about what my, you know, what is our slate? What's our, what thumbnails can mm -hmm. I get ahead on? Like I just start working yeah. and then I look out and like Maggie's like has like little projects that she's doing and like I, I just, my brain doesn't know what to do with myself. And then I asked her and she's like, well, you could do this, this, that or that. I'm like, oh yeah, those are all good options. You I could should, watch a movie. You could, could read a book. Yeah. Well, movies one that I know how to do. <laughs> that, that one I'll, I'll carve out time it took for a, a few movie. years to really years. nail it <laughs> movie I Never know how to do I got it I will say I'm the same way Zach I had a so I had a show on Saturday Rainy was a guest feature she was mm -hmm. great um, but uh, I was like really exhausted from like doing this show so mm -hmm. Sunday Sarah was like let me give you a little bit of time to just like relax me and my mom and the baby you're gonna go out hang out you just stay at home and just like relax for a couple do hours do something that makes you happy Miles dude, yeah no she was like just relax for a second and like feel cause I know that like, your last one is big whatever and I go thanks we, so much can we baby guess? <laughs> yeah please try, try and guess what I did you, you swallowed whole raw eggs in the bath <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You sort of reverse birdoed <laughs> while bathing. Birdo yeah. being the character from Super Mario Brothers Two. I, by the way, haven't been tubbing at all in my new place. What? That's a damn shame. Oh. There, there is a tub, and Julian uses the tub, that but bitch. I haven't gone into the tub to be like this. I haven't christened the new tub. With is my it big own. enough for you? It's a little shallower than my last yeah. tub. Yeah, and you're a splish splasher. I'm, I'm gonna splash. <laughs> Something about me. I'm gonna be splashing in the tub. A B C. Yes. Any, always be splashing. Always be splashing. Always be splashing. Always be splashing. Henry, Any other guesses? Well, Henry right. has been, I, we put his feet in Becky's oh, bathtub last night, so and he cute. loves to splash with those feet. Oh, so kick, cute. kick, kick. Oh, you said Becky's bathtub? Yeah, she was bathing, and he was going to bed, so ah, he, he, he came he in to say goodnight, and, and she was like, do you want to see if he puts his feet in his tub? I'm like, yeah. And he did. <laughs> he was like, oh, boy. And then, then we had to go play with some more water, because then it like kind of really riled him up. But yeah. the water was too hot for him to keep putting his feet I in. See. So yeah. I'm like, okay, let's go That's play with the sink cute. water for a minute. <laughs> sink water's got. Then his fun. feet were a little too warm. His hands were a little too cold. <laughs> well, yeah, we, we, I, I, he's fine. He was fine. He's totally. Fine. It was not too hot for him. It was just too hot for him to stay in. That was gonna be my guess actually for Miles' activity is that he kind of put his feet in the sink and went splish. I do put my feet in the sink. I stand in my sink. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah no, it's my, a my real sight. guess is that like when I go, oh, I have some free time. Mm -hmm. I go, guess I'll kind of. Flip through my apps mindlessly for an hour and feel bad about myself at the end. Well, you're not that far <laughs> off. Mm -hmm. So I started by doing that. <laughs> and I was like, all right, what? No, actually, first it started by I'm sitting in my bed. I'm going, all right, Miles, relax time. Let's go, baby. Yeah. It's all your time to do self care. Oh, so and you so got, are you above the blankets or under? Above the blankets. I'm above the blankets Pan on my bed. Pants mm -hmm. on, pants Hold off. Hold the remote. Pants are on, Zach. That's actually <laughs> personal. <laughs> Pants are Just because pants, pants are on bed, it's kind of dirty. But. Socks on, socks off. Let's talk about those feet. <laughs> um, so I start going through streaming services, and then I get pissed off. Yep. Because I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to watch? Been there, yeah. Do I want to watch something good? Do I want something trashy? And then I start to get really fucking pissed uh -oh. at Amazon Prime. Fuck off, Amazon Prime. You're yeah. going to add ads yes. to the yes. thing I pay for? Yeah. We live in such a hellscape. It's yeah. so fucking bad. I can't I, believe it. You cannot pay for no ads anymore i thought they did have one that you could pay no they oh, just, that is bullshit it's total bullshit wait, wait, i thought wait, you wait, could wait. capitalist your way out of that scenario i had been paying like amazon no ads hulu no ads whatever and then amazon was like sorry guys we got to put ads on <laughs> oops, all this all ads. oops all ads and i'm like you well, don't fucking think this is a bad service anymore anyway but miles i mean you know bezos is trying his best i want to get you a bezos apologist t-shirt <laughs> bezos apologist <laughs> Honestly, that'd be a good like uh, that'd be a good like lose to a bet is you have to wear like a Jeff Bezos. Oh fan god! Oh my god! I would, I would <laughs> ask really me cool. about Jeff Bezos. 
<laughs> Ask me about my love for Bezos. <laughs> Ask um, me about my Bezos tattoo. So anyway, what <laughs> I ended up doing was uh, me and Sarah have like both nightstands with two drawers and they're full of so much junk and shit. So I organized oh our gosh. junk drawers and watched Let's a documentary. Let's fucking go. But by the okay. way, I, that's... You crushed it. It was yeah. work though. Like I, I was like, all right, I'm going to like put my, it's hard for me to just be like, you know what? Let me just chill for a sec. Okay. Yeah. But how do you clean a junk drawer without getting distracted by the cool things you find and be like, well, I better play with this for five minutes I because did, oh, yeah. look at all these marbles. I didn't know we had these. <laughs> Genuine he, question he, too. Oh, he's drawers and it's all marbles. <laughs> yeah, well, it's all, there's other stuff. Well, there's, there's some toy cards. There's a lot of marbles, some springs. Yeah, springs. That's fun. That I got to be some, distracting. I, I bought a box of springs once, and I got springs that are sort of hiding everywhere in the house. This is a genuine question. When you tackle a junk drawer, because I've got plenty of them, I have the, the miscellaneous drawers mm-hmm. of these don't have homes, so I'm going to shove it in there, and my mind will hopefully remember that it's in there. More likely, will pretend that it doesn't exist until we move in five years. Yep. Uh, but when I do try and say, like, it's time to tackle a drawer, yeah. I don't know where to put things because there's no mm-hmm. system yeah. for those things. I'll so tell you what. It, it's, Three, Teach me. Three pile theory. Oh my gosh. The pile Everything goes in. Oh my. <laughs> this go here. <laughs> this go, go somewhere there? else. Ah. <laughs> this go trash. <laughs> so that way you go, this go here. Okay, there's pens. This is a pen drawer. This go here. This go here. <laughs> oh, somehow like acetaminophen. This go, go there. This go, this this go, go there. there is actually go there. the way to say it. That go over there. That's going to go somewhere else in the house. And then once you finally get it, you go, this go trash, this go here. And then you have that little bucket. And that, you can make a super bucket of all of the this go somewhere else stuff mm-hmm. in the house. That go there. And then that go, then you do room by room. By the way, unironically, better than any piece of <laughs> advice you've ever given on this show. <laughs> okay, I think tubs uh, were the well, first one. Well, I think, do you guys have what I have, which is where you have Two designated places where one of where something you want could be. Yes. Like we have a medicine cabinet mm-hmm. and another medicine cabinet. Yeah, where do you put the ibuprofen? There's like the yeah. everyday medicine. Yes, we do have two. And then there's the sometimes medicine. So however, there are some sometimes medicines in the everyday medicines. Well, of course. There's no everyday medicines in the sometimes medicines. Oh, why? That would be ridiculous. Absolutely. Like the other day I was looking ibuprofen, for like ibuprofen. Yeah. I've got like eight different bottles of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was like, we just keep forgetting you have it. And, like, and then being like, oh, well, here's more ibuprofen. Oh, here's the liquid capsules. Yeah. Oh, here's the hard kind. Oh, here's the generic kind. Oh, here's actually Advil. Oh, here's this kind. Oh, this is extra What's strength. What's going on with the, the pills and the liquid pills? Yeah. yeah well, I What's think they the... dissolve faster and so, they get into you quicker. The ibuprofen. So then why aren't they all? Some people want the extended release. I think it's cheaper to make non-liquid capsule pills Probably. by a tiny margin, Probably. by like 19 uh. cents. So the liquid capsules let are me, cheaper. Let me blow everyone's f- brains right now. If you're, I'm so sorry, I swore. <gasps> Guys, that was Keith's I'll first one. I'll censor it, I'll censor it. Keith's first swear <laughs> ever. He's never done it before. For all those out there who are like me and they take dairy pills. <gasps> okay. You know, for dairy. You might yeah. be buying dairy pills. You might be walking through the aisle. You might be seeing the generic kind. You might be saying, hey, wait a minute. 60 lactates cost, let's say, $12. But this bottle over here has 200 dairy pills for $10. Well, obviously, I'm going to get the 200, right? Yeah. Until you whip that bad boy around and you see mm, you how many off. pills you take per serving of the 200 stack. No way. It's three pills per serving of the 200 stack. Oh, And then there's no. one pill per serving of the lactate tech. Now, there are generics that are the one pill per, but when you're buying them in the bottle and you think you're buying 200 capsules or something, look at the back and make sure you're not supposed to take actually two to three at a time as opposed mm-hmm. to one at a time because your math is getting fucked up in there. They're trying to fuck you up with math. The mm-hmm. worst thing they can do. Yeah. But have you seen that's that naughty. at the grocery store, there's the price and then there's like the price per ounce or whatever? Yeah, that's a great Bottom way to look. Corner. I do like that. I love that That's thing. good for groceries. Be. Yeah. But, but for, not pills, for pills, it doesn't say... Price oh, per price concentration per, of drug. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Now, <laughs> yeah. I will say, uh, are you guys, because when I take a pill... Zach looks fucked up by that. I'm thinking. <laughs> Zach, are you good, man? Zach is uh, like... Well, I'm trying to figure out how many pills I took this morning. <laughs> when you take your pills, I have learned how to just be like, okay, big handful of pills, bah, all of them at once. I don't. You do one at a time? I So I take about... You take six, a ton of pills. I take like six or seven pills a morning. Yeah. Uh, and so I, I put them in my hand. First of all, I dump in my hand... 
throw them in my pocket, hope that none get lost on the way. Mm -hmm. And then around In your pocket? Yeah, in my pocket, because I'm a gross oh my little gosh. gremlin. No, I don't Loose? care the gross. I'm just worried it's going to fall. And yeah, then you're and gonna... by the way, they do. Yeah. Uh, and so <laughs> then around sometimes like, I don't know, one o'clock, I'll kind of be like feeling my pockets and I go, oh shit, you didn't take those yet, you little silly goose. <laughs> so then I, I put them in my hands and I kind of go big little. And then I go middle, middle. And like, huh. I kind of, I try and- You get them to be equal weights. So you're uh, like, it's like a puzzle. You're doing, like, like, a, you're doing like a bracket. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Big little, middle, middle. I do the first seed, the one seed against the 16 uh -huh. seed. Yeah. And I, I kind of, because I'll have, you know, whatever. So I take two pills at a time. Yeah. And I, I size them up. What if you put them in a cereal bowl and filled it with like an oat milk and just ate it like cereal? I bet you could swallow way more pills at once. Crunch, crunch, crunch. We well, don't crunch them. You just got to swallow them whole. Oh. I was thinking, do you guys think you could swallow a picker, a pickle spear whole? A, a spear? Or yeah, a, you think it's so lubricated you'd be able to just slurp it without chewing? Like a how pickle long spear? is it? Uh, four and a half inches. Pretty oh. deep, normal size four sandwich. And a, oh, oh. But a, a fairly pickled pickle spear. Four and a half inches is normal, I think. Yeah. <laughs> do you think you could swallow it without chewing? I, I think you could, but I'm afraid to try. I would feel, it would he, feel awful. I feel like I would need to try with like a medic on standby. Yeah. <laughs> But we should do a like, video called Keith Tries to Swallow. <laughs> we get a full medical team right behind you. Police officers, everyone standing Get one of those by. like uh, life-saving child plungers for my face. Yeah. Is this a good action to do while I'm <laughs> sitting if I, if I swallowed all of my food whole without chewing it, would I just get so constipated? There's a whole thing about, yeah, you're, that we don't chew our food enough. Oh. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. It's a, well, it's because our, we cook our food. Is that so, Miles? You might be lying. But actually, so... <laughs> no kidding. Just Fred is but, like, oh, no fucking way. Really? It is true we don't chew it enough. But also it's what do you mean we it's don't chew it enough? It's because we cook it. You don't know how much I chew? You don't chew enough. How many chews? We should do a chew test. What do you, what, what do you mean because we cook it? Well, so... Interesting. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Once we started cooking food, mm. it made it easier for our body to digest food. So then why is it a problem that we don't chew it enough? Because it's, for your job. it's still, it's just better to chew it. The more you chew it. Better for what? Your tummy. You're going to absorb more. The more the you chew, the less your stomach has to break down piece, bigger chunks. Yeah. The more the, you chew. The more you can grind it up with your big grinders in the back of your mouth. Yeah. Grind it into a nice little paste. Swallow it up. Riddle me this. Yep. Soup. Soup is don't need no chews. Exactly. Because your stomach's just But like, that's because soup's been cooked way more. Well, what if I blend it? Smoothie? Smoothie? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that's, that's the, that's the most, because the blending is like the cooking. It's so like, then it's, it's not a problem that I don't chew. But well, you eat other things than soup and smoothies. You I know, know you don't that. eat a lot. You, you don't, don't know lot. that. Yeah. I, I, I've seen you eat a carrot. Prove it. That's right. I can't. I will say you're supposed to chew, I think also for your teeth and your jawline, it is like supposedly there's a whole new thing about like chewing is like really good for your jaw and for the makeup of your face. I mean, look at a horse <laughs> and a cow, the way they chew. That's Those right. guys have sexy jaws. They're good looking <laughs> animals. <Cut. laughs> now, who doesn't chew a lot? Stingrays. No jaw. No, no jaw. jaw? They just, just they go. They, they straw. <laughs> what do they eat? Boba. That's a funny cartoon. <laughs> Stingrays only eat boba. Sting Stingrays <laughs> running a boba shop. <laughs> really good. Okay, someone sell this to Bojack Horseman. That's so fucking funny. Holding it, they would kind of have to wing the boba cup, uh -huh. though. So, but wait, okay, so, so answer, go back. If I don't chew enough, then my tummy get what? It just it has a harder time digesting. It takes longer. So like if something like we mm. don't chew enough a lot of times is like steak. Because you kind of get uh, tired of chewing yeah. it, and it's hard to chew, Boy, so you yeah. just then, swallow it. And you kind of get well, your a stomach has to, has to fucking yeah work really hard to break on break that all down. So, so if I were to swallow my food like pills for a day, it mm. would not be good. You would not, I think, get as much nutrients from the. Would food. I get constipated? Yeah, yeah. probably. You especially, you're sort of so prone to constipation <laughs> that it's I feel like just he has like the opposite a, problem. You think it's diet? It, is it, yeah, well, I asked you once. Well, it runs depends or stops. on the food. Column A, column B. But it's, I would say Miles is, well, yeah, I think he's closer to right on a given day. Oh. On a given day. What does that <laughs> mean, Zach? More commonly, it's the stops than the is runs. Is it ever normal? Really? Is it ever no normal? Yes, I work very hard. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. good. I, I'm happy to hear. Remember the, remember the six to eight pills that I take every <laughs> yeah, day? I work very hard. <laughs> I don't take any pills in the morning. You don't? Mm -mm, nothing. I take a multivitamin right before bed. That's cool. I don't, and I don't know if that's optimal. I just do it. I think it's not bad. I asked my doctor once if I need to take vitamins. She's like, do you eat 
a, a wide variety of food. And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, then you're probably good. No, probably, yeah. <laughs> I was like, actually, yeah, I eat a lot of types of food. She's like, then you're probably fine. Honestly, it was because of my. I was getting leg cramps. Oh right, I, I, I don't get those anymore. I don't I, know why, dude. In when we were in Vegas that one time, oh. I got the fucking oh my worst gosh. leg cramp. Often it's actually sometimes when I drink, I will dehydration, which is I don't drink very much yeah. anymore. But like if I'm I, after a wedding, this happened to me like yeah. at a bunch of different weddings. Because one, I'm on like heeled shoes. Mm -hmm. So my oh. I'm like up a little bit. So it's like a weird kind of thing. I'm not normally on a heeled shoe. So my leg is kind of like the calf muscle uh -huh. is, is looking hot all is night. It's looking hot all night. And Blaxed. then when you have alcohol in your body, you can't process the lactic acid from your muscles. Oh. And you're just dehydrated. And you're shit. dehydrated. And also you aren't getting enough magnesium and potassium. And that supposedly it does leg cramps. So before yeah. sleep now, I pop a multivitamin. And so far, I don't think I've had a leg cramp since I've been doing that. Wow. Um, for a while, but you've been kind also, of taking bananas and rubbing it on the back of your legs like chapstick. Yeah, I kind of potassium go, is good. Oh, that's nice, like a face mask, but for yeah. your yeah, yeah. Zach, I've got a serious question for you. Uh -oh. Here we go. Let's change the mood. Tender. Um. Tinder? So with it's a I'm married, right? Seri no, <laughs> I'm not on Tinder no Chicken more. Chicken tenders. Hen oh, you thought I said Tinder? Okay. No, no, no. Tender. Tender. It's a tender question. Legal tender. Oh, tender. Legal tender. Um. So you with chronic pain, like, how do you know when to? And we we're kind of talking about this before too, with like taking a break. Like, how do you know when to like push yourself uh -huh. and work, and when to like take care of yourself because <laughs> you don't feel good? Good question. 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 You kind of did the family feud. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Good answer. question. Good question. I was like, I do want to know. Um, <laughs> that is a good question, and and I'd say the most frustrating thing about mm. chronic pain, specifically an invisible illness, is that yeah. there is no meter mm. that I right. can read. Right, and and even with my medicine, I it's just self-reporting to to my doctor. He's like, "How are you feeling?" And uh -huh. I'm like, "Good, better." Yeah. So That's I, hard. you know, you try and. I guess journal or or really remember like where you were at your worst, where you were at mm -hmm. your best. Right. I'm very fortunate that right now like things are are clicking, things are good. good. I'm I'm on a good diet. My I'm on a good medicine. I'm on a good physical routine. Um, but certainly I will have flare up days and I just feel like shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, or I'm I usually I'm like I'm mentally cloudy. Yeah. And I'll usually know when those days are going to happen because my sleep has been disrupted. Oh. So on those days. Yeah, I, I I guess I just know I have to take it easy and I, yeah. I use my CBD, I use my heat mat. Um, but I, I guess the real answer is you know because you feel like shit. Yeah. Yeah, what is the, yeah, when you say like I have to take it easy, what does that look like? Because that was something I struggled with when I was dealing with my back stuff, which mm. thankfully is like, I still have it a little bit, but it yeah. was so fucking bad That was then. an intense era. It was really intense. Yeah. I was like, when I would sit at that chair, yeah. it wasn't because of the chair. I would just come in and just like, I couldn't really move yeah. from there because it was so bad. But thankfully I got kind of lifted out of that and mm. I still have it a little bit now, especially with lifting Julian. Like that's oh. been the mm. next aggregator of it. But I always never knew, okay, I'm having a bad flare up. Am I supposed to rest or am I supposed to stretch and, and get exercise? And often mm -hmm. for back stuff, they actually say if you're tight, movement is better sure. than whatever. But yeah. Yeah, what does it look like for you when taking care of something like that? Well, it's it's yeah. So oftentimes like movement is what makes you feel good. But like th there's a luxury of energy that mm -hmm. you often don't have. You know, if, if yeah. you're familiar with the spoon theory, sometimes you just don't have even have the spoons to do that task. Sometimes... There is no spoon. Have you seen The Matrix? Very nice. Right? That kind of actually worked. Uh, wait, this? what's the spoon theory? <laughs> uh, spoon theory, I, I'm... Uh, so when Neo goes... <laughs> is this is The Matrix thing? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm blanking on the name of... Oh, you said Matrix thing. I thought you said interesting. I'm like, yeah, it is interesting. <laughs> it is interesting. <laughs> it's not a Matrix. So it's going to be interesting or something. Well, what is Matrix? It's just the amount of energy you have, right? Yeah. It's measured I'm, in spoons. Think I'm, of like an energy meter at the top of your oh. screen. Blanking <laughs> on the name of, of the woman who coined it. It's um, And I don't want to get it wrong, so I'm sorry. It's definitely Bethany Spoon. Yeah, Bethany Spoon. <laughs> uh, but it's a theory to explain to friends without chronic pain what that experience is like. And essentially, oh. she was at a diner. She took a ton of spoons, yep. put them on a table, and said, for you... You have unlimited spoons. Uh -huh. But for me in a given day, I may only have 28. And mm -hmm. sometimes I have seven. And, uh -huh. and you know, something like taking out the trash, for you, it doesn't, it costs three spoons, whatever. Yeah. I got I got infinite spoons, but yeah. I only have 27 spoons today. Oh. And so I think it is about, one, helping other people That's understand, really yeah. but also giving yourself a language to know, like, 
you know what? I can't do what many people would look at as a simple task, mm -hmm. and that is okay. So, so to your, your question, I think it's about recalibrating expectations for yourself mm -hmm. and knowing that it's okay to only do X, Y, Z and say, today, I just don't have it. Instead of feeling shitty about myself, I need to prioritize my energy mm -hmm. in certain places. Um, but that's also why my, my whole chronic pain journey has been about having a toolkit because there is no one thing you need to have your, mm -hmm. your little toolkit mm -hmm. on your on your side where you can pull out a bunch of different techniques some days yes if i feel really shitty like hey if i can just muster up the energy to work out or to go on a walk to get outside like that's really what's going to fuel me some days i need to lay on my heat mat or i need to take my ibuprofen or my cbd or get a massage or take a nap or uh get a nice soup <laughs> do you think that perhaps you'd have more spoons if you could sleep on the skin of a stingray. <gasps> and by the That's way, oh, yeah. I've definitely, I've talked to Maggie about this. I'm like, what if we just don't get a nice car ever again? And you buy the bed. And we get, <laughs> you get a stingray bed. bed. You get the bed. Because <laughs> don't they come it's like they, 600 grand. They like fluff the bed though. They, I'm like, sure they have an entry level stingray. That's interesting. Yeah, 100 Gs. Maybe it's like a manta ray or something. Yeah. Bigger, yeah. It's penguin. Another kind of ray. <laughs> it's yeah. penguin flesh. No, I've been looking into some crazy. There's a company that that you put a mat on your bed and it has a like a smart learning temperature gauge and it cools your body at night but then also then heats it up as like the day oh. like it, it I goes gotta, I know that there's probably a service like that exists sometimes marketing language is so powerful yeah that it's hard for me to discern what is real and what is not you're <laughs> like it has an AI operated temperature sensor bed with I a believe nested everything. feature yeah. and I'm like that is but how would that be affected by my cat moving on different parts of the bed every night oh, right your cat gets fried <laughs> right is there an Alfred has gotten into being really no I'm your baby dad yeah. uh in the last few months and he's realized that the time that the baby's not around is when the baby is sleeping at night so alfred has taken like he has become so much more possessive of my sleep where he like he's moved to sleeping on my head oh wow like, he's like spooning my head which is kind you of must heat up it's in, kind of it's, it's like both furnace. bad Cute. and amazing because yeah. it's the best sound machine mm. in the world. It's just a big purring cat on yeah. my the side of my head. He's not on my face or anything. He's just curled up next to me taking uh -huh. half of my pillow. But he's he's there always now. So cute. And it's so cute. Aww. And it's a lot. And he's he does even like human-esque things. Like I'm like, oh, I got to get up. And he puts his paw on my chest. Oh. And he's so he goes, cute. don't go, baby. He's like, don't go. No, no, no. Don't go, baby. And then no, he gives, baby, me little, gives me little kisses. It's, it's very intimate. <laughs> so cute. It's grown quite intimate uh, from the cat. Yeah. In our bed, it's similar where it's Birdie, giant dog, me and Sarah. And Sarah sleeps at an angle with Birdie underneath her. Oh. So it's sort of is like a... Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's like a, a frame house. Rectangular. It's yeah. like an A frame house. Rectangular thing, birdie on one corner, me on the other corner, Sarah diagonal on the bed. I love there's something about being diagonal on a bed. That is what she's always telling me. It's luxury. <laughs> she's like, I have to. It's better. I have to go <laughs> angular across the entire bed. Yeah. I, I have actually is, recently yeah. though realized I maybe I need to flip my mattress. Oh yeah. Because my side of the bed, mm -hmm. way more sunken than Sarah's side of the bed. Because mm -hmm. you're a bag. And I was like, what the fuck's going on? Like, I rolled around and I was like, badonk. no wonder my back hurts. It's because I have that badonk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's just take 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my side also is like a cavern compared to when I go on Becky's side sometimes. I'm, I'm like, like whoa, this is like a new mattress over here. <laughs> it's an AI mattress firming technology. <laughs> I do want to flip it, though. I, I, yeah. I have like one of those ones that came in a box and it expanded. Mine has like the, the top that's special for the top. I feel like I can't just flip it. Oh, I don't think I'd mine have has to that. spin it. And do it. Okay, oh, while you yeah, sleep, yeah, that's some of the ones that dizzy. fluff. Yeah. Yeah, they what if you guys traded places? With your partners, I have Is a that size. She would crazy? never. She would never have that. I've been. <laughs> a, I, they they sponsored. You can sit with us back in the day, but I I got some that tracks my sleep, and oh, yeah. so I've been trying to. Oh. Like, I, I get a score every single day, and and last night I was only a seventy nine, uh, and so I've been trying to look at See. like, yeah, it's not great. It's not it's good, good enough. Sleep. So I I and that affects your readiness score for the day. So it's like I realize like oh I need to have better sleep hygiene. I need to 
get to sleep at a certain time and wake up at a certain time. Also, I unfortunately noticed that when I let Bowie sleep in the bed, so cute, my sleep score plummets. Oh, damn. Yeah, I'm sure that Alfred is uh. negatively affecting my my energy. Yeah, I'd like to track myself using those things. I think that the stats yeah. would help me feel like life is a video game and I need what to if, level up. What if you just <laughs> filmed yourself and then you spent the first two hours of every morning adjudicating <laughs> it visually? Yeah, what if I sort of go over it like a football team uh-huh. scoring a thing? Yeah, this looks like you, this wasn't good. I rolled over. I rolled over. <laughs> I'm not breathing through my nose. That's bad. Yeah. I do want to do the mouth tape thing. That's kind of where I'm at. Oh, yeah. So I have people, I, my friend read this book. I think it's called Breathe, but it's just about how human beings, like we breathe through our mouth, but we re- and we really should be breathing through our nose hmm. almost exclusively. And that the breath that goes through your nose like humidifies it before it goes into your lungs. Oh. There's all sorts of fucking reasons why you should be breathing through your nose. The mouth's but... so big. Oh, so big, so much more air. <laughs> oh, big. Yeah, but I you get don't have all the fil- think about all the HEPA filters that are built into your nostrils. And if, yeah, right. But you have to train yourself kind of. So you, when you sleep, if you mm. do the tape for a while, eventually you'll just do it without. But people say, yeah, uh, I'm, c- I'm super down. I can't wait to try this. I, yeah, everyone raves about it. I Kelsey does it and says that. It like she wakes up with more energy yeah. and like wow. clarity of mind. It's uh, I I'm I'm fully on board. And then also you look crazy. Yeah, <laughs> you look like yeah, because yeah, it's like an X. Right. I thought it was a cosmetic thing, but it's not. No, it's, no, no. It's no, a no. sleeping thing. Yeah. You yeah. thought it was a cosmetic. Yeah, thing? I thought it like made your mouth cheekbones. Oh, you or thought something. it was like tucking your yeah, cheeks yeah. back. I thought you meant like <laughs> it was cosmetic, like for your partner or something. Like they wanted to see. I think it was like a lip gloss. Okay. Oh. It's cosmetic. Like you're it's just cosmetic. making a little X. Your partner wants to see you with tape over your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Gen Z loves the mouth X's. Yeah, man. Can we tell you our Grammy story? Please. It's a, oh, it's, my a, gosh. it's a quickie, but it's a fun one. It's yeah, a quickie, but a goodie. So we uh, we were at this party, uh, and the reason I thought about it was piano. We brought Jared Popkin because we heard that Mr. William Joel... Billy Joel was going to be there. Oh, I love <gasps> Billy Joel. And yeah. Jared is a huge fan. It was like, his birthday. Huge oh, fan. Oh. That's great. So I brought him as my plus one to mm-hmm. this party. And it was an it was a Grammy's party. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but again, it was at the same night as the biggest party. <laughs> so and the, was this an, an event that you were invited to by somebody you know, or was this like an industry thing that you were at? A little column A, column B. Yeah. A little bit of both. <laughs> kind of cool. Invited a, by column one column of our representatives. There you go. Sure. But uh, it, it was at this... Obs- Not a political representative. I realize that most people might think representative would <laughs> be like, my, 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 our senator invited us. No, no. One of our, our agents. representatives, like, like agents, right? agents, manager yeah, type yeah, people. Yeah. So it was at this obscene mansion. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Which was actually a beautiful obscene mansion, not a gaudy obscene mansion. Like, actually, like, gorgeous. Sure. Yeah, Each yeah. room had a different theme and yeah. color. There was oh, the sick. gold room. There and was a table with like 30, 30 chairs long, like on each side. Like oh, ridiculous so lo- long table for, awesome. for two people to eat across. And <laughs> oh. it, it was amazing. There was a room that was like kind of designed as the apiary, but it, you look at the wall and it's all hand painted. Oh my God. And we somehow found it and no one else did. And we would just hang out there. Whose house was it? Was and it the like a- couch was... The most comfortable couch I'd ever sat. Oh, on. you talk about <gasps> stingrays! <laughs> Ooh, there must have been so many dead stingrays in those cushions. <laughs> <laughs> Every piece of furniture, dead oh stingray. Oh my god! So the whole night we're really like, come on, when's Billy gonna come? Is this, this gonna be thing? Like there were some people there, and it was like, cool, cool, but like, yeah, when's Billy gonna come? Yeah, yeah. And so finally, he shows up to the party, and immediately, like, fucking. Course. Everyone is on top of this yeah, dude. People are not yeah. giving him his space. Oh, really? Of like course. We were giving him space. Oh, to me we though, cool. Billy Joel's at a party. I'm like playing it cool, eating yeah. cheese. So yeah. not people are not being him. cool at all. Yeah, weird. which was lame. Yeah. So he walks Classic. through the house. He goes to a room. He sees the baby grand piano. <gasps> he walks <out>. out. <laughs> He walks over to it. Everyone in the room is trying to pretend like they're not like. <laughs> Everyone with starts breathing through their Jared, nose for the first time. <laughs> with the exception of Jared, whose body floats towards it, he just is like, yes, give it, and walks up. He walks up. He oh kind of God. touches some keys while standing. He opens the, the He goes the thing. over. He opens <gasps> it, and he looks like he's opening it to have it be open to play it so it really is heard. Yeah. But he actually just opens it, looks inside, goes, hmm, closes it, and walks away. Oh! 
Leaves wow. the party. Leaves. <laughs> I mean, he, he walks away and back to his group, but within about eight minutes, he has left. He was he was at the party for <laughs> under ten minutes. Mm -hmm. So he was like, "If this piano is good enough, I will play." Yes, that's, that's what it looked unbelievable. like. Unbelievable. I think he actually was just going to see what kind of piano it was, right. but the way it kind of felt was, oh. "This one's not good enough for me." I'm I feel gone. bad for the Incredible. piano. To yeah. have that sort of effect Did you just on say, I feel bad yeah, for the piano? Yeah, can you imagine being a piano and being able to look at you and it's like, mm. I mean, no, that piano honey. at least no, got touched by play. him. And he did like a tinkle, like, tin, tin, tin. he said, hey, Jude. <laughs> you think he played hey, Jude? He started like, hey, Jude. <laughs> hey, Jude. He said, very... Blackbird. And then just kind of walked <laughs> he away. He made only Beatles <laughs> <laughs> intros. And, and 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 outros. I did some of his famous songs like "It's been a hard day's night." <laughs> um. Okay. Well, speaking of celebrities in a house, this question came from a Spotify poll. <gasps> so shout out, love it, Spotify user U R E S T I five nine two. You this is a poll on our Spotify tripod page. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah, King. Yeah. Hell yeah. We have a question question box. So I, if you I have a burning question, a way to, I asked that in a way to plug it. Oh yeah! If you yeah, yes, Good exactly. Business, Zach. <laughs> Where to go, Zach? <laughs> <laughs> so if you have a question that you want Keith to answer and Zach, put it in the Spotify. I will Miles not be answering. Will I will abstain <laughs> from the question. <laughs> Miles has it in his contract that he will not be taking any questions. I will be taking no questions. <laughs> he only takes questions from other listening apps other That's than Spotify. Other than exactly. Spotify. He's our Apple Music rep. <laughs> um, if you had to live in a mansion with people, who would be in your house? Only celebrities, and you have to choose one that sucks. So we have to think about ru roommates. <laughs> what are the rules of the? I have a mansion. You, you sort of are doing like a, it's almost like a Team 10 style situation. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Who's on your roster? And now, do I, how many people are there? They have to suck. One has to suck, and then oh. the four other ones have to be cool. Oh. They're like, can be anyone. For the room, I'd be curious how we define suck, just what your brain goes to. Because there's like, oh, this person is a bad person, or there's like, ah, uh, like he's just kind of a pain in the ass. I think it's more like the Cole Sprouse level of like, he's annoying. Addison like, Ray, Ted canceled. Bundy. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think just yeah, annoying. Cole yeah, Sprouse yeah, yeah. is a great example. Yeah. Mm. Um Okay, we we're gonna start our own, you know. Content house. Content house. Yeah. And you're not in love. You don't have to bring Becky. It's good to have Maggie. somebody who sucks because they typically get a lot of news stories. And it, it, if I, if, you know, history shows right, they, they never get punished enough. They actually just become superstars, super millionaires, super villains. My yeah, mind, right. My mind went to not the suck, to the person I want on my team as Dua Lipa. But I, I yes. feel now that that's perhaps too powerful of a choice, and I regret it, and I, I, I just need to say she's it. She's also to never going to be home. That's what I think is that's, nice. She's touring. Oh, maybe yeah. that's good then. Yeah. Oh, she'll be busy. We she'll get busy. all the allure of having Dua Lipa. In the team. But then I get to kind of eat all her snacks. Yes. Yeah. And you know Dua Lipa's got them good snacks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big time. Uh, she's probably eating like seaweed crisps. Yeah. I guess my, I want my sucky person to be Gwyneth. Outro? I love that choice. That's yeah. good. Yeah, because she really definitely good. sucks. But you have so many crystals. We have so many crystals. We'll have some healthy stuff we can eat, I assume. But I am gonna have to be like, <laughs> that's too. You can't. You can't do that. You'll come. Yeah. No. She'll have like all these uh, alternative medicine cleansing things that you can do, and that sounds like, fun. Kenneth, I need to go get a physical. <laughs> so I have to do it every year. I'm gonna go. She's like, you don't need that. I'm like, yeah, Gwyneth, I do. I'm I, gonna go. I like the doctors. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Tana Mojo, Tony Hawk, and Machine Gun Kelly. Okay. Whoa. There we go. That is what I I'm was thinking for. Tana. Tana is key to any if you're <laughs> building a team, <laughs> superhero team, content house team. Tana is gonna be essential viewing for But she that used team. to have a crush on me, so I feel like I can't. What? Well, she did ask her manager if Keith was single in front of Keith. Oh, no, you just you. She was like, are you single? Not yeah. a crush. It's a one night infatuation. Hey. There you go. That's a crush. Hey. <laughs> I can't live in a house with her. Nah, that's true. Yeah, too much I can't imagine. She's gonna, history. And I can't, I, I don't want to be in that environment. Yeah, sure. Can Get you that. imagine <laughs> trying to pull off a heist without Tana Mojo on your team? I cannot. <laughs> Truly, if she I'm could do going, everything, hacking, hacking, she could be <laughs> getaway car, the getaway car. She could be the person that's like, oh hey, distraction, like, she's a distraction. distraction. Yeah, she yeah. can pretend to be drunk at the roulette table. Put Tana Mojo <laughs> in Fast and Furious 13. That would be 
iconic. The movie is half the time because she gets the job done. Mm. (laughs) I agree. You think that you're going to pull off a mission to Mars without Tana at the the HQ? Yeah, no, that'd be the best. Um, Okay, Uh, this is a big It's hard because, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of like Florence Puh. Seems cool, but I'm also like, is she a good roommate? Like, I feel I, like I, I worry she would she, would, be, she but... would be like, oh, you guys are gonna play a board game. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. She'd be a little judgy. I think yeah. you freaking nailed it with Tony Hawk because yeah. you want yeah. someone that kind of <laughs> has yeah. a superpower. Tony, that like you walk out and like, oh, Tony shredding in the yeah. backyard. Tony, <laughs> and it would, would it be Tony now? Tony's like fifty five. Like, <laughs> yeah, with two he's kids. killing it. Yeah, he crushes. Well, it. the kids are not invited. He did, by the way, Tony Hawk recently, what is the, there's a move that he heralded when he was much younger, and he was like doing that move every 10 years, and he just did it at 50. He was Whoa. like doing this like something 9,000, like 900, where he basically spins a fucking unfathomable amount of times, and he did it at 50, and there's a video of him, and he's like trying it and failing a bunch of times because it's really difficult, and then he nails it, and he just throws his helmet off and walks into his car and drives off set. And it's so sick. It's like, this guy is the fucking best. I'm inspired by that. No, it's very inspiring. Okay, first draft pick. Okay. David Blaine's too crazy. (laughs) Am I allowed to take (laughs) Penn and Teller as a combo, as one, or do I have to separate them? Do they count as two? Who are Penn and Teller? How dare you? They're very famous magicians. They had a reality show called Penn and Teller Fool Us. Basically, the premise being... They're two of the the most famous magician duo of all time. They're very Vegas magicians. They're huge Vegas magicians. But basically, they had a whole show where they would have magicians come on, do a crazy trick, and then... They would tell in secret how they did it, right? It was never, not always public. Uh, but if Penn and Teller could figure it out, uh, you didn't get any money. But if they couldn't figure out how you did it, then you won a huge prize. Right. I want the Ooh. quiet one. Teller? Teller. Teller. That's I want the ir- Teller. The irony <laughs> and is he's he doesn't just gonna, speak. Yeah, oh. so he'll be a very, po- oh, actually, no, I want a homie to play board games with. Okay, sorry, Teller, you're out. <laughs> Penn. I want Penn. He's funny, and he'll do magic tricks around the house. He's cool. Mm-hmm. That's, that's my first mm-hmm. slot. Penn and Teller also used to have a show that uh, proved conspiracies that were wrong. They'd they'd be like, this is a conspiracy. He's woke, and I like that. Yeah, Yeah, he was like, it was called Bullshit. I think so. It was you like, okay, here's I'm, a thing you think is real. It's not real. He only prove it to you how it's not real. That, that was it was like an HBO show. All yeah. it was mm-hmm. was being like, this conspiracy is fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Here's how I can prove that it's not real. Yeah. It's bullshit. Do you mind? Actually, I, I might want to just build this house collaboratively because yeah. so far yeah. I love Gwyneth as the one who kind of sucks. Yeah. yeah. I want um, <laughs> Adam from Mythbusters. Wow. <laughs> a lot of OG people in this. Yeah. Gwyneth Paltrow and Adam. From- Tony Hawk. <laughs> Wow. Buzzer. Because imagine wow. you go out to plus. the backyard, Tony's shredding an Ollie. And shredding an Ollie. Over a, over a <laughs> homemade like explosion. And then Gwyneth is there to use the crystal magic to heal everybody. He's cooking up when things go wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And I think final, Steve Carell. Really nice, really oh, fatherly. Wow. I love Steve Carell. Adam Savage, that's his name. I remembered it was a cool name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's cool. just doing some sort of experiment, and Steve's kind of like... Wah. Yeah, Steve was just there for the vibes. What? He's the vibe king. <laughs> 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 Incredible actor, Steve Carell. What about, what about Steve Harvey? You're going to pass oh. on this opportunity to have him in your content house? What's it's the best? really good, but here's the thing is that if I have Steve Carell, think of all the Minions merch we get for free. Oh, yeah. banana. Good answer, good answer, good uh, answer, good answer. Yeah, dude, good it's going to be wild. By the banana. way, speaking of, guys. Oh, my gosh. Um, you have a banana in your pocket? You're about to pull out a Minions? Speaking of, I can't believe that are you pulling out it? You're like we've gone so far, but I do have a Minions keychain. <laughs> <laughs> this is huge. I can't believe that. I got it for Sarah um, for Christmas. As she a said, joke. no, thank Sarah you. Sarah thinks Minions are funny, but she was like, I can't be an adult grown woman who's a parent with a minion's keychain. And I said, I bet. Say less, queen. I'm going to put it on my keys. <laughs> he's like, uh, I can. Uh, he's wearing roller <laughs> skates. He has, honestly, huge headphones that almost look like he should be uh, directing an airplane. I think they're like what you wear when you fire a gun. They're not, I don't the, think they're headphones. I think they're... He's going to the firing range. <laughs> yeah, he's going to the firing range. <laughs> By the way, a minion in John Wick 6. Put minions in John Wick 6. Put, mm. uh, that is a good t-shirt. Why aren't the minions in Smash Brothers yet? Oh, my God. They, good question. They fight together like ice climbers. Uh-huh. Yeah, but there's 10 of them. But there's 10 of them. <laughs> and they're eensy. Yeah, that's not a bad idea at all. I'm starving. Me too. Yeah, well, lunch got here an hour ago, so I hope you're ready for some cold sandwiches that might be spoiling. 
Spoiling. Yeah. <laughs> I got mine with raw shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> and if you find yourself feeling shrimpy, mm. maybe a little raw, mm. you may find yourself needing some cocktail sauce. Mm. And the cocktail sauce for your brain is advice. And when I want <laughs> advice, I go to Miles. It's advice that'll go for miles. Tune into your radio station. It's advice that'll go for miles. Everyone get ready. Miles Nation. Miles Nation, go. It's advice that'll go for miles. Advice that'll go for miles. Hi. Hey, my little chicken. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to be a time saver? Oh uh, my gosh, yes. Lifesavers? We've heard them. We're sucking on them. Time savers are something that you can do by fixing a small little problem in your life by using the technology of today. Woo, 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 woo. I've been devastatingly losing my keys lately. Uh, uh, oh my god. Even with gosh. the minion. It's yes. been well, the minion is a response to the loss yeah. of my keys. Didn't I have you been, didn't you weeks ago give us advice to have a little key hook at your door and that was gonna solve that this was problem? like three years ago, Zach. I can't uh, time is crazy. That was three years ago. Not, You're yeah. insane. Zach's losing it. I'm gaslighting. No, yeah, it actually was. Uh but it actually hey Zach. <laughs> but for real. It for real was. <laughs> hmm. I feel like you solved this problem. <laughs> but the problem was I had a little key and it was in my pocket and I was losing it fucking so bad. Sarah lost her keys a bunch recently too. And guess where they were? In the basement in a box what? that was sealed. It was the craziest fucking key loss of all time. That we looked is... for days. We were like, where the fuck could the key be? And Sarah was like, I do not know. I'm like, what did you do? And she's like, I... What did I do that day? I get, oh, you know what I did do? And she finally figured out she had put something in the basement before oh she left God. the house. And the key was in a box in the basement. It was like, I, I, would, believe oh. it was I would never, first of all, you have a basement? We do. It's like shared with the person above us too. Crazy. Yeah, the building Los has Angeles basement. basement. Dang right, dude. Yeah, how you can do out. that? With all that rain, how did it fare? It actually was okay. Good. For whatever reason. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, basically, I have opted Something that I'm going to be trying today when I get home because it's in the mail. Air tag. We love an air tag. Air tags. A technology that came out and I thought that's cool. It'll probably solve a bunch of my problems. Then never use the shit until now. Yeah. Well. Okay. So I also bought an air tag, but here's what they don't tell you: you have to get like a case to put it on your keychain. They just they do it all a cart. That is, so they, and they do tell you. You can super glue it. <laughs> Here's something they don't tell you. It's like on the website. Like. Yeah, it's like sold without case. I'm a, I'm a big fan, but here's something that you're going to find. Yeah. So I have my keys. Mm -hmm. Maggie has her keys. Mm -hmm. We have two sets of keys for the same cars. So oh. I'll just grab it willy-nilly. Yeah. And then I'll get an, a notification on my phone that's like, hey, this person's been following you all day. Oh, my that. God. My and phone is always like, your AirPods are traveling. And I'm like, yeah, they're in my fucking pocket. I know. Great <laughs> plug episode would be me putting an air tag somewhere, and the you, you three of you have to travel to go get it. <laughs> That's like also a great idea. <laughs> we just you just send the coordinates uh -huh. to the air tag. Yeah, I mean, like it's a cool technology. Do they, by the way, do they dingle? They sometimes will dingle. Oh. They'll make a little song. Because that's what I'm really wanting. Because I'm like, okay, so and it tracks, and you're like, where's my thing? And it gets you closer yeah. and closer. Dangle, dangle. And then it dangles. Dingle, dangle. But I'm That's, psyched about the air tag. I literally, yeah. I because Maggie's bought them all for us, I literally have no idea how much they cost. How They're like they 24 cost. bucks, which is yeah. which is pricey, by the way. Yeah. But I was like, I, I would pay a thousand dollars to never lose my fucking keys again because it's been happening so much. I, yeah. I lose them constantly. Constantly. And yeah. I'm like, how is this delaying? Like, I'm like, I am so optimally primed. How am I being delayed because I've left my key in like there the and a, Yeah. A yeah. Friday night where I was like driving to Santa Monica, which I never do. And I get a call from Rainy and she's like, hey, oh. can you check the back of oh. your car seat? <laughs> <laughs> and I like reached my hand in and her car keys were in my yeah, car. That's devastating. Like, what do we do here? Yeah. Not only were they, it was car keys, which is not that big of a deal. House, house key. key. That was going to be yeah. the limiting factor. So that was a huge bummer. It was also after like the, a super long day and week. And I was just like, I just wanted <laughs> my home. Four plugs yeah. in a row. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. That's devastating. But anyway, guys, hey, start tracking your stuff.
Mm. Okay. Because I've been recently also fully, if I lose my phone somewhere, immediately hopping on my computer, find my iPhone. Like just oh, yeah. first, because I'm, like, I'm not even going to fucking look for it. I, I know that if I've spent more than two minutes looking for it, find my iPhone is going to be the way to go. Play the ding. Play the ding. Play the ding. <laughs> I, uh, I take a lot of pride in my relationship that Maggie loses her phone. I find it for her. Aw. Really good. That's I've like, had, I, yeah. I just, I know, like, if she's like, oh, have you seen my phone? I'm like, give me two. And I just go into my brain. I go, if I were a Maggie, Aww. what did I do for the last hour? And I, whoosh, I find it in two minutes. You got to think like a Maggie. You got to find think Maggie's like phone. a Maggie. You got to be Maggie. You got to, you got to put on Maggie clothes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you put on all Maggie's clothes and you go, I'm really lovely. <laughs> and then you find your phone. Oh, my phone. Here it is. <laughs> I I have called my my mom can find anything. So a while ago, I was looking for a charger for a very specific cleaning thing, and I called her and I was like, "Where is this very specific, very niche thing?" And she In found your it. Home. Yeah, <gasps> she found it. Over she the said, "Phone." Yeah. Whoa. She kept repeating, "Check the outlets, check the outlets," and I was like, "I checked the outlets, but I didn't check all of them." And then eventually, I found it. I love yeah. that. And if you think like that, you might find yourself on your way to your own stingray bed. Hey, this has been another episode of the Tripod. We're uh we're around <laughs> once a week making little fun episodes. Drop us a like, leave a comment. If you want a bed, what would you put inside of it? Really good. Mm. Have hey. a good ass week. Wait, no. Heath. Have a thing. Hit song. us. <laughs> Do you want to sleep on skin? Sleeping on skin. skin. Sleeping on skin. skin. Do you want to sleep, sleep on skin? skin. Sleeping on skin, sleeping on skin is a tripod. Have a good ass Do week, you guys want to go get some boba? <laughs> <laughs>